I'm going to show you how Mark Immelman explains how PGA teaching pros screw up amateur golfers. They do it without knowing it, of course. So this is not, you know, a, a me harsh accusation. It's just a matter of fact. So he's interviewing Debbie Doniger, and she's showing him various golf drills that she has come up with, one of which involves keeping the rear heel flat on the ground during the downswing and, and through impacts. So you don't come off of it too early. Now, I've been, been playing golf since 1995, or I started playing then when I was 35 years old, and no teaching pro ever, and that involves local guys or top 100, top 50 teaching pros, golf magazine, golf digest, who, who I went uh, to for lessons. None of them told me that I was getting off of my rear heel too early, which was and is my biggest problem. And of course, forward momentum also, which is associated with it. So let's look, listen, let's listen to Debbie and then Mark's comment where he said, where he basically, that, as I said, says that PJ teaching pros create the problem. Here we go. So if you keep that band a little bit. So you want to keep the band, so you see she's moving her arm, you want to keep the band flat on the ground, pressure on the ground, tension in the band, don't come off too early. If you keep your right foot a little bit lower to the ground and the band keeps its tautness and you want to work on your arm and hand speed mm -hmm. versus popping up off the band. Or Let's see, popping up off the band too early. You can see what she's looking, she's exaggerating how amateurs move through the ball at impact way too early off of the rear heel and too much forward momentum. So listen to what Mark Immelman says in, in, in response to this, where he blames teaching pros for this, but says it in a fashion where it's like, oh, just a random event as opposed to the standard teaching, uh, what's the best, the standard teaching theory presented to amateurs when they go take a lesson. So here comes Mark in a second. If your arms and hands are super slow, that can help you. It can help you because I'm pulling on the band that way it can also help give you a little more lateral shift the other way, yeah, um, which you can describe. You, it also won't let you run away from the golf club too much because I see a lot of golfers who, who get the lesson that they've got to get to their front side, and then the next, and they're off wildly in that direction. So you hear what he, what he just said. I, I run into a lot of amateurs who get the lesson that they get, that they get onto their front side, and now they're off wildly in that direction. Well, that's the, the lesson that every amateur gets. I was never told by any teaching pro never to get off of my right foot as early as I was getting off of my right foot. And I can tell you uh, the drill that, that Debbie's showing you, it could work for, for you if you can already do it. But it's very difficult to teach yourself to, to maintain proper dynamic heel action by doing that drill. You have to do something much, much more rud rudimentary. And I've put them, I've created two videos that show this that you can watch very easily. So all you got to do is just click on the title of, 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 of my channel, click, click on videos, and you can see also just some of the videos by Kevin Kisner on his heels through impact. Ernie Els strikes the ball best when his right heel is flat through impact. Tony Finau swings from his heels, and so should you. And Tony Finau has won the last three of his, he's won the last three of his, of, of the seven PGA Tour events that he entered, swinging from his heels like, really, I mean, his heel swinging is absolutely amazing. So when you come to this section of the, the video page of my channel, lateral lunge driver drill, and the two best golf swing drills ever, then they cure all common swing faults, and you'll see that that's not really an exaggeration at all. So a very short video. Clearly you can see what the enemy is getting off of that rear heel too early and unfortunately, unknowingly, PGA teaching pros have gotten us off of our rear heels too early and they've done it innocently because so many amateurs stay flat-footed all the way through the entirety of their swing. So as opposed to addressing on a case-by-case -case situation, we are all given the drill to get to the lead side as early as possible, as fast as possible. We can just kind of do a zoomy here. You can see how I'm swinging through the ball. Um, this is the lateral lunge driver drill with the rear heel flat well through impact. So watch these videos. Very simple, easy to do. You can go to the range today and do it and you'll see the benefits rapidly, assuming you have at least average uh, athleticism and coordination.